The book, titled Dr. Sam Nyoma, A Synonym of Peace, launched during the founding president's 90th birthday celebration at his home village in Etunda, is not a historical record or an autobiography, but a personal celebration of Nyoma's life. So I wanted the book to be different, which is why I decided to make it an educational book, a source of wisdom, you know, to individuals, especially when they are facing adversity, in the sense that there are so many lessons that we can learn from our founding father's life story without necessarily only focusing on his life story, on his biography. There are so many things that we can learn from him. Things such as, you know, our founding father started off as a cleaner for the South African Railway and he ended up a president. That teaches us that it is not how we start that matters, but how we end rather. Readers are taken through a journey, revisiting Nyoma's efforts during the liberation struggle for Namibia's independence, his work through his foundation, as well as educational insights and wisdom. In summary, she says the publication means to serve as a manual for any human being facing adversity. Uh, apart from that, uh, there are also, the book also contains the meanings of our founding father's name, and how they connect to, his, to him, how they relate to his persona, and how all of that has contributed towards his life story or who he, he, has, who he has been in life. And the book also um, discusses his character. The book also contains a range of poems by school learners in honor of the founding president and a description of the Olufuko tradition and what it symbolizes of which Nyoma is the patron. There are so many misunderstandings when it comes to Olufuko. I mean, even I was one of those people who misunderstood Olufuko. But when I started writing a book about our founding father, then I found out that our founding father is a patron of Olufuko. I took an interest in really studying and doing research in order for me to find out exactly what Olufuko is about. And so when I realized, okay, Olufuko is not something bad, it's rather just heritage. You know, it's just a passing down of practices. The final year business student at the University of Namibia and current holder of Ms. Okahao title says the book is also being translated into Oshivambo and copies are available at Antonio Arts in Ventuk. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.